Hello my lovelies, welcome to Erica's Magical Projects. I'm Erica and each week I'm trying to bring a little bit more magic into my life doing various projects and this week's project is that I'm going to celebrate the autumn equinox otherwise known as Maybon by coming out for the last camp of the year and really enjoying the last little bit that the summer can give. It's the last camp of the year where we say goodbye to the summer as our favourite campsite closes for the winter. I'm very sad to see the back of the summer so I'll be wringing out everything I can from this weekend away. I've bought some crochet but realistically I'm not sure how much I'll be doing because I want to get into the sea. <laughs> so come along with me and we'll see if I do get into the sea. Oh. Well first of all I need to show you our beautiful campsite. Look at this beautiful. <gasps> Beautiful Cornish sky. Have you ever seen the bluest sky? Yes, this is our beautiful campsite. Blue, 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 blue sky. And above our head, the last of the skylarks. Apparently, I found out it's the day of the Ruckless Dance. And there's going to be some Morris dances and various things happening. So I'm off down the hill to a little village. We're going to see what all the ruckus is about. Ah. That's my tribe down there. Down there, wandering down to the seaside. I'm going to catch up with them now. I think I've found it. There's definitely something going on. Let's have a look. Oh yes, Morris dancing, one of the best British traditions. Non-traditional people coming into a traditional space, the women reclaiming the dances. It's strange to think all these people will go back to their normal lives tomorrow. I had a little dip in the sea, but it's just behind me there. You can see, I had a little dip in the sea. Just a little one, it's a bit cold still. Oh, it's so cold, it's definitely turned. Oh, it's definitely autumn. I return to the village where the dancers are still dancing. Apparently, they're going to keep going until they drop or the sun goes down. It is the last day of the last day of summer. Yes, here I am and I am very, very, very sad this year to say goodbye to summer, but these videos have enabled me to look back over the summer and see that the seeds that I planted in the springtime have definitely borne fruit this year because I have been to lots of festivals, I've had lots of fun, I've made lots of things, I've met lots of interesting people, I've been to some amazing places and I've done that basically through the power of my handicrafts. <laughs> so I feel rather proud of myself. <laughs> I, I looked at you and I said, I think she's a witch. I think I am. Hello, hello, witchy nice witch. Well met. It's nice to meet you. Yes, I am a witch. So, back at the house, I am going to be finishing my Maybon Wheel of the Year segment. And I still really don't know what I'm going to put on there. I think, really, because I've spent so much time with apples and blackberries, it will be one of those. It's going to have to be some kind of a corn man, I think, or corn dolly to represent this very special time of the year where we say goodbye to the summer. This is my birthday today, actually. I just turned 49. And I realise this is the last year of my 40s and I am entering a point in my life, entering a point in my life where I'm no longer a mother, but I am a crone. And now I'm entering a reflective time of the year and I... I'm entering the crone's time of the year. I'm entering the time of Hecate. And Hecate's been very present to me recently. 
been talking to me, Dark Goddess. And I think I will be maybe studying her a little bit more in the coming months. And Welcome back to the city. I'm back in my garden in the noisy city, which you can hear behind me. That's what we live with in the cold, mean, grey streets of the city. <laughs> there are some flowers left in my garden. There's not very much left of the sunflowers. Look at that. Oop. The tomatoes are going all really and spiny and riny. There's a few of those left. I might bring them in and make some green tomato chutney or some green tomato jam or something. I had a very strange little flower pop up down amongst the beds here. We have an artichoke flower. Hello, artichoke flower. I was hoping for actual artichokes to eat uh, because I really do like them when they're one of these things that's a little bit expensive to buy and a little bit pointless as well because there's not much food on them. <laughs> I was hoping to grow them, but I've, instead I have grown a perfectly small artichoke thistle flower which I'm very happy with. It'll be time to take all these out soon, get rid of anything that hasn't grown, that's starting to grow at the wrong season. Oh dear, there's a spider web there, look at that. <laughs> spider season. You know the summer's over when the whole garden is covered in spider webs. <laughs> I guess it's going to be Halloween in no time at all. So a corn dolly and an apples and blackberries. I think it's time to start getting painting and stop being so maudlin about the changing of the seasons. <laughs> Did you hear that? I think that was some geese. Oh, well, it's finished. Okay, let me show you. It's not very good. <laughs> okay, look at that. It's absolutely rubbish. Uh, okay, so you can see there's an apple. Yes, that's fine. But what's this? It's meant to be a corn dolly bell, but instead it looks like a blobby mess. You can't tell what it is at all. Apple and blobby mess. No matter how hard I tried, I tried a few times, I couldn't quite picture what the corn dolly was meant to look like, even by looking at pictures online. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. And I'm afraid that's sometimes what happens when you're an artist. Sometimes it's fine. Sometimes you have something that's amazing. And sometimes you have a blobby mess that you can't even, don't even know what it is. As an artist, when you make 10 things, eight of them are gonna be okay. One of them is gonna be absolutely rubbish and one of them is gonna be your masterpiece. That is the way of the artist and this Maybon Slice is my one out of 10 that is completely rubbish. But like I say, I've got no time to fix it. So I'm afraid this handmade item wasn't so magical this week. <laughs> Thank you for joining me for this video. In the next video, I'm gonna do a quick roundup of everything that I've done in September and have a look forward to October. It's literally happening right now. Where has the time gone? Oh, at least I've got a few magical handmade items to show for it, even if some of them aren't so magical. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.